here with Rylan Rogers, somewhere at large in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, so you're about to make a commitment to what college you're gonna go to. Uh, on your list, you have NC State, Oregon State, Penn State, Ohio State, and Michigan. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what formed that top of the list for you? Yeah, so for me, obviously, those were all, there was multiple schools to reach out and it was really hard trying to, because there's a lot of nice coaches out there, so it was difficult trying to narrow down the process. But uh, one of my coaches, Bruce Burnett, who's coached at all levels, was a, even a college head coach, really helped me in the fact of they're all going to be really nice people, and but he's like, it's what fits your needs. And so he had me make a list of 11 or 12 things that uh, – I thought I needed in order to be successful. So maybe they're right, maybe they're not, but for me, I felt like these 11 things were what I needed to be successful. And so that kind of helped narrow the list down. And yeah, here we, we are. are. Yeah. Uh, more craziness, it's been a dead period for almost this entire period. Uh, any thoughts on how that affected your you know, school selection? Uh, not really. I mean, it was it was obviously frustrating not being able to go and see coaches face to face and meet the team. Because one of those things on my list was the team culture, which I think is big it, for every recruit. Is just fitting in with the team and developing a really good team culture is important. So uh, obviously, not having that, it was a little harder to make my decision. But yeah, got it. Now you're originally from the Pacific Northwest. Um, you've wrestled at Blair. You're being recruited on both sides of the country. Was it really competitive with all the schools? Yeah, no, it was, I mean, for me it was, yeah, there was, when the home visits started up, I had to make a phone call to Bruce because I was like, coach, I, I don't know anymore. I thought I knew where I was going, but I, I don't know anymore. Okay. And so he just said, Rylan, and if you know Coach Burnett, he's super mellow tone guy, really down to earth. So he was like, Rylan, just go back to the list, man. They're all, go back to the list. And so that's kind of what stuck to it. And then when I stuck to the list, really, it came down to one school. Can you tell us where you're going? Yeah, I will be attending the University of Michigan. Congratulations. Um, can you tell us what was on that list or some of the highlights for you to choose Michigan? Yeah, so for me, I think the RTC focus was really big. Um, so having Alex Derringer. And then when I was there on visiting campus recently, I saw uh, Miles Mean and Stefan Micic training for the Olympics, which yeah. was huge. And I just saw they put a really big emphasis on the structure of the RTC. So you have obviously Sergey Belagozov, one yeah. of the most accomplished Russian wrestlers ever as their coach. And so that's an awesome guy, to, a r awesome resource to have. And then of course, Coach Bormet, I was, he's a workhorse. Like, I don't know if you guys know him very well, but he's, from what I know, he's very hands-on and that's kind of the coach I wanted was a hands-on coach and he's, very hardworking. So he's all, he was just over in Poland. He's out doing a camp in Montana, just constantly like just working for his guys. And so that was really important to me. Talking about that. So you went and saw him in Montana. It was at Kalispell. Yeah. So I, I drove up, uh, made my phone calls, which is really tough because they're all really good guys. And, uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate all of them giving me the time to time of day. So, cause especially coming from the Northwest, it's, it's hard to get that kind of exposure and so it was really tough to make those phone calls but I drove up three hours to go see Coach Bormet and commit in person get to see him in person which is really cool so yeah it's exciting that's fun anything any advice you'd give yourself I know you have the list that you went through any advice you'd give someone who was going through the recruiting process yeah I think that is the biggest key is making a list of what you think you need to be successful not everyone's goals might be for me I have a really big Olympic aspirations. So not everyone's goals might be Olympic aspirations. Might Some of them might be academic, academically like what you wanna do. And so making a list of what's important to you or what you think you need to be successful. And I think you just stick to it and it'll narrow it down usually to one or two schools then you use your gut decision. Hey, thanks for the time. And we're gonna do a long form interview about his entire life. You can check that out on Rockfin too. Yeah, thank you. Go Blue.